Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to discuss about Teradata Clearscape Analytics. What is it? What are its benefits? Let's explore. Clearscape Analytics spans the entire suite of Vantage products with its newest abilities and capabilities. With these new benefits, Vantage customers can now take advantage of most in-database analytical functions. Anywhere in the market, let it be artificial intelligence, machine learning model management like model ops can be used using this. This will help any organization to meet its growing analytical demands. Let's dive into Clearscape Analytics platform. So once you Google it, this is the main page for Clearscape Analytics, which covers information about various things. Please feel free to go across it as per your convenience. Next, I'll click on try demo option to practically explore everything. You can fill the details if you're logging in for the first time. I already have an account, hence I'm going straight away to the login option and I'm going to enter my credentials over here. Here goes my password and username and I'll click the login option. So this is the first page and since I already created an environment as TDENV, it's already present, but I will show how it's created. So you could see the plus icon and over here you can enter the details like some random environment name which you prefer to and a password which you remember and a region that is closer to you. Once this is created, you could see the environment created on the left side. It's gonna take some time though. So before I start my environment TDENV, I will explain other functionalities in this page. The whole page shows about the environment created by me. We need to keep this environment active or else, you know, it's gonna be deleted by Teradata support team. I always try to log in in a timely manner or else it will be clean, like I said before. This alert can be seen here as well. System will be automatically suspended if you leave it started or it's in idle state. Hence, let's not keep the environment idle and let's start it. So I have started it. Now, meanwhile, if, while it is getting booted, in the top right corner, I will explain about a, other stuff. In the top right corner, you can see start, stop and delete environment option. In the bottom page, you can see all the details about Vantage database create that, that has been created, host name, username as demo underscore user and password which is encrypted. Now the system is started. I will click on run demos using Jupyter icon. This opens a new page with the same host name that I have mentioned in the previous page followed by a port number like 8443. In the top side of this page, you can see a basic menu and left side you can see icons related to files, open tabs, local connection and other options, which we will discuss in upcoming videos. Clicking on the getting started option, you could find multiple information and how to go through this page. In the next steps, I'm planning to upload one data set and use it in my future anal analysis. You can go through one more site called Kaggle where you can find multiple data sets and which you can use it in your future models. But I will be picking up COVID data in my analysis. Next, I have created a folder and uploaded it to a Clearscape portal. This is completely through GUI. So you could see my six different files that I have downloaded from Kaggle site is uploaded over here. Just double clicking them, you can find the whole data. Now we got the file ready, but I'm more interested to explore the types of way to run this data in Clearscape Jupyter. So I will show the entire analysis in the next video. But in this video, I'll first cover like how we have to connect using the Jupyter console to Vantage system. So once you click on the plus symbol in the blue, 
you will find different languages and ways to access them like console, notebook and portal. So I will pick notebook as an option. So once I picked it, I would like to the reason why I picked notebook because I like to work on it and uh, I got used to it. So I'm going with that option. So you could see I have opened two different tabs. One is for Python. The other one is for Teradata SQL. In Teradata SQL, you can connect to Vantage environment simply using magic function commands like percentile connect local. You can find this local connection in one of the left side tabs and edit it to see the connection details. Once connected, I will run some sample commands like select user which results in my demo user and select timestamp which gives the system timestamp of Vantage system. Remember, all these commands are simply executed by shift plus enter keyword. Sorry, keyboard keys. In Python tab, I will run some basic commands on how I import Teradata ML library. By default, Vantage Edit Jupyter will have all default libraries, but still you need to import them. Now you could see connection related details in this code. I just removed password just for security reasons. And in the following step, you could see I'm connected to, I'm connecting through host, username and password in the variables con. With con opening the cursor, I am running certain statements like select user and I am just running some sample queries from sample employee table which I created in before sessions. So you could see the results over here as well. Now you could see how I am able to connect through Vantage system on Clearscape analytics portal that is the Jupyter window via, Van via Python as well as Teradata. So this concludes the tutorial about an introduction about Clearscape Analytics and how we can query using Python and Teradata in it. In the next section, sorry, in the next session, I will cover on reading the COVID data, the Excel sheets which I have uploaded before, and I will try to use some common machine learning algorithms over it and extract some charts from it. So stay safe and healthy and have a great day. Thank you.